Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ford Bronco First Edition. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this first edition, and also a huge shout out to the owner for letting me do a review on his brand new Bronco. I'm gonna include a link to Ford's inventory in the description down below, and yeah, let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have the turbocharged 2.7 liter V6. It goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and 17 on the highway as well. Now, power outputs are 330 horsepower and then 415 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the first edition. So first off, notice that we've got these full LED lights here on the front end. And then we also have the Bronco logo there. And then we've got the steel bumper here with the parking sensors that are integrated into it. I actually love how the bumper comes up here. Usually I'm not a huge fan of that type of design, but it actually looks really good with the Bronco itself. And other than that, that's pretty much everything for the front end. You guys can see it looks really mean and aggressive. Now coming around the side here, we've got three 15 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear because, well, the first edition comes standard with the Sasquatch package. So you get the 35s and you guys can see just how aggressive these tires are. Now on top of that, you do get the Bilstein position sensitive shocks in the front and in the rear. And you guys can kind of see that there in yellow which i think just looks really cool you also have the rock rails here on the side and then notice you've got the decal there on the side and then we've got the ford keypad right here and then we've got the famous bronco mirrors that are actually not attached to the doors definitely interesting and other than that here is your full side view on the first edition and then we'll kind of pop here into the Rear suspension area, we can't really see a whole lot because of the wheelhouse liner, but I thought you guys at least would wanna kind of see a little bit uh, underneath there with everything, and then you can kind of see the shock right there. It says Bilstein on it. Now popping here into the rear with the first edition, notice that we've got a 12 volt right here in the back. And then we have all of the stuff that comes with the Bronco here, nicely packed up. I'm gonna leave this here for the first owner to obviously open. And then you guys can see just underneath here, we've got some extra stuff just in case you get stranded on this side of the road. And other than that, that is everything for the rear. Now finishing things up here in the back, notice that this one does come with the hard tops. You guys can actually get a look at what a Bronco looks like, again, with the hard top. And for the 2021 model year, you can only get the black top. You have to get a 22 to get the body painted top. Now I've got the 35 here on the back, which looks just absolutely crazy. And then I just love the blacked out design with the wheel. Notice we've got the backup camera right there in the center. And then we've got a recovery hook on both sides actually there in the rear. And then we've got the LED lights here that come with the Bronco. And then I did forget to mention this earlier, but we've got the gigantic fender flares. You can see just how aggressive it makes the stance look. And yeah, that's everything for the rear. Now here's a door panel in the back. So first off, we've got this padding here on the side and then down below where you rest your arm. And then you guys can see the beautiful trim here where you actually grab. And then we've got the door handle just up above and some netting here down below. And then here are the seats in the back of the first edition. So you can get the navy interior, but you can also get this black interior and you guys can see the white stitching that goes throughout. And then coming here into the center, you can see that you've got kind of like a little charging area slash window control area because that's where the window controls are for the rear. And then I like this design here on the back of the seat. And then we've got more netting as well. And then we also have the interesting cup holder. It's actually shaped uh, kind of like Idaho. Look at that. Idaho cup holder armrest. But anyways, that is everything for the rear. Here's a door panel in the front. So again, same trim as what you get in the rear on all of the touch points and you still get that cool door handle and the netting down below. And then here are the seats at the front. So again, we've got the leather seats and we've got the Bronco logo there in the center. You can see the nice bolstering. They are power adjustable, which is something you can't get in a Jeep Wrangler. And then coming down below, we've got the pedals 
the hood latch release, we've got the parking brake release, we've got the light controls right here, and then we have a grab handle here on the side that says Bronco on it. And other than that, there is one more look before we pop in. So here is our steering wheel in the Bronco first edition. Notice we've got beautiful leather all around the steering wheel and then you've got darker stitching there on the center portion. We've got all the controls to the center side including the voice command, phone controls, and then we've got all of our cruise controls over on the other side with the volume controls as well. And then if we turn the steering wheel, you guys can see we've got the turn signal stock right there. And other than that, well, that's everything for the steering wheel. Now here is the center gauge clutch. You can see you've got the speedometer over on the left side and then we've got this huge digital screen in the center and then down below the digital screen, you've got this that shows you what uh, gear you're in, right? Whether you're in park, reverse, neutral, drive or in the manual mode. And then here with the screen, notice that you can scroll through a couple different menus with the screen itself and it'll actually change how everything uh, looks from a viewpoint perspective. I also like how the RPMs, just like on the new F-150, give you an exact amount, right? It says 0.8, I think that's uh, pretty cool overall with the aesthetic uh, but yeah that's everything for that center screen so we've got a few controls here at the top first off we've got the sway bar disconnect which is that button and then you've got the front and rear locker with those the trail turn assist and then the stability control and then the hazard light and i just love how the button looks here and just like the actuation with the buttons as well i think that is just really cool but that is at the top of the dash and then also notice here with the dash itself and it's super uh, close to the window like the window is just right there and uh, it's pretty much just completely vertical with the window itself but yeah those are those controls at the top here's the center infotainment system first off if we pop it into reverse we've got the backup camera that will pop up and then you guys will notice we've got the zoom in function with the receiver hitch and then we do have that full 360 view now i'm just going to pop it back into park so it stops beeping me i have the uh, door open if you guys were uh, wondering why it's beeping so much but we also have a camera button that we can press that'll give us the same viewpoints and notice you can scroll through the different angles so like we can go to the front camera for example we can do that front view as well it's cool to see the bumper here on either side that's definitely uh, unique for sure uh, but yeah that's pretty much everything from a camera perspective it's really solid now coming back to the home screen we do have the 12 inch display that has the split screen function and notice that we can drag this over and well you can basically change what tab you're on response time is great uh, this one still does have the plastic covering over it as you can uh, see so response time is not gonna be as good as when the covering is off but yeah, aside from that, you guys know I'm a huge fan of this infotainment system. It's really easy to use. And I guess the cool thing here with the Bronco is being able to see stuff like the uh, lighting controls. And I know I showed this in the other Bronco review, but it's still cool with the whole like 360 zone lighting and all that. But yeah, that's everything for that. Now we've got our analog controls here for the radio and then the climate system. And then we do get heated seats and a heated steering wheel. And then over here, notice that we've got this, which is a couple of USBs. And then you've got some extra storage space here, another grab handle. And notice that we've got our first edition plaque right there in the center. And then we've got the shifter there for that 10 speed automatic. Definitely feels nice and rugged. And then you can manually shift the gears yourself with those buttons right there. Now we do have our drive mode select here. We've We've got the go over any terrain and those will actually pop up here into the center stack so first off we can go from the normal mode into the eco mode you guys can see the little switch right there and we've got our slippery and then we've got our mud ruts we've got our sand mode we've got our baja mode because this one does have the high speed package as part of the first edition we've got a rock crawl mode as well and then over on the other side you guys can see the normal mode. There is no, like, I guess, sport mode that comes with it. But again, you can put it over into the uh, manual mode and everything, and that's where you could do your sporty driving if you wanted to. Obviously, it's getting mad at me again because I've got the uh, door open. But yeah, cool with the uh, drive modes. I love the animations, and I love how many different drive modes there are. Now, aside from the drive modes, we've got our drive line selects. We have our two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel auto, and then four wheel low, as well as the trail control, which is kind of like your off road cruise control. And then the window controls are here in the center, and then the mirror adjustment is also here in the center. We've got a couple cup holders. I love the bottom portion of the cup holder, how that all looks. And then you guys can see the material here on the center console. It definitely looks rugged. And then there's inside, and then you have that little thread through area for the cable. And then notice it says Bronco here on the front, and then got the glove box right there and yeah that's kind of all for that area 
So up top here, we've got the universal garage door openers, and then we've got the auxiliary switches here that come with the first edition. Definitely cool, makes you feel like a fighter pilot when you are pressing those. If you obviously add LED lights or something like that onto it, then yeah, you just plug them in via there. Now this one does have the insulation here at the top. It helps keep heat in in the winter. It helps keep cold air in in the summer, and then also helps out with noise. And then notice that you just have to pull these latches. So you've got the two pieces here at the front, and then you've got the one piece there in the back, and then notice all the latches all around here with the Bronco. It's actually pretty easy to take off. And then notice, you probably didn't see this earlier, but it is body colored here. So if you have the back off, just like on a Wrangler, it is body colored uh, underneath this roof. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for the top section. So there's quite a bit of glare, so it's kind of hard to read the uh, window sticker here, but the first edition pretty much comes fully loaded because it comes with all of the rock crawling equipment, then it also comes with the high speed equipment as well. And so the total price you guys probably can't see is $62,715 for this first edition. And all of them are special orders. And then I'll give you guys kind of like one more walk around so you can see everything with this first edition and sorry that's like half in shade and all that kind of stuff but I also think it looks cool because you can see what the color looks like when it's in the sun and then also when it is in shade as well but yeah overall the new Bronco just looks absolutely fantastic from every single angle and yeah definitely recommend the Sasquatch package it looks amazing but on top of that those Bilstein position sensitive shocks definitely going to be substantially better off-road and then also on-road as well they'll definitely soak things up quite a bit better but yeah that is everything for this first edition now that's going to sum things up for our video on this first edition Bronco. Again, a huge shout out. Thank you to the Larry Schmiller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this first edition and also a huge shout out to the owner as well. It makes me super excited for my first edition to come in. I ordered mine in Area 51 for the exterior color and then with the navy interior. So it'll look substantially different than this one, but it's still really cool to see in person. And yeah, I'll see you guys.